Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. So as you saw from the start, this is a B&M come shop with me a haul because recently in my town there has been a new B&M opened. It's actually a B&M and garden centre which means it's pretty big and I love a B&M. It is literally my favourite place to just go and spend a few hours mooching around. And I thought I'd just show you a few things that we got. So I actually haven't been to B&M since I worked out and it was actually before Christmas. So it has been about three months, which for me is just insane because I'm that person that is in B&M like every other week. Um, but yes, I thought I'd show you because obviously I've not seen all of the summer and spring stuff. So, but first I will actually start with the cleaning stuff. <laughs> So I went in there knowing for a while that I needed a new fabric conditioner and you might have seen Mrs Hinch has actually got a new scent out and this is Vacay B Vibes Edition it is Orange Blossom and Coastal Cypress Cypress? Cypress? I don't actually know how you pronounce that oh, but it smells amazing like I don't usually like the scent of orange but for some reason this really works and I love it. Um, so obviously I've got the scent boosters to go with it because I, they just go perfectly, don't they? To make your clothes smell amazing. So yes, first buy. Secondly, which is extremely boring, but it's actually window lean, which I haven't had before. I always just rebuy the method glass and window cleaner but I thought I'd give this a go because it was just on the end and it was like two pounds something. Um, so yes, yeah, so I thought I'd give this a go. I actually wanted to use it on the inside my car window because I seriously need to clean my car out. Um, so yeah, that is what I needed to get. Buy some food and drink bits, but I've put them away already. Like, oh. So I don't want to bore you with that too much. The only like home decor thing that isn't for outside that I bought was this candle. So when I first saw it, I thought it was actually just a pot. I didn't realize it was a candle. But it is from the New Bloom Sugared Blossom range. I think Sugar Blossom's actually the scent of it. But yes, this is three pound. I really liked the pot because I was thinking I can burn the candle away and then clean it out and I could use it for to our toothbrushes, I was thinking makeup brushes, uh, use it as a little vase just with some little stems in it. I thought it would be quite cute, so and it's neutral, it goes with the decor. There were some different colours as well, but this was three pounds. We also, which I think this is a really fun buy actually, but we picked up two of these. They are hanging basket brackets. Uh, so I just think they are just really pretty. B&M doing these for four pound, which I'm sure is more than last year. I mean, I think they, they had three designs in my store and this was the most expensive, but also felt like the sturdiest. So I did pick up two of them because I think this is cheaper than it is in the garden centers. Um, so yes, we've got two of those to go up onto the wall. So that's a job for Anthony's weekend. <laughs> and then I didn't buy any actual hanging baskets yet just because i mean we're at the start of march actually we're probably in the middle of march now um and today it's like it's cold and it's drizzly i think there might be a couple more weeks maybe even the end of the month before i think about planting these so we have really been looking and thinking about our garden because since we moved in the renovation has been purely about the house um so we moved in it'll be a year in july so we didn't have time to do the garden, so that is what we're focusing on this year. Um, so I had a few lists of like plants and things that I wanted to get, and I saw in B&M that they had, I've got to be careful not to get this absolutely everywhere, English lavender. There is, how many is there here? There's six plants actually here for £7.50. It smells amazing. I love anything lavender, and they are so easy to keep as well. But yes, these now need to go into a plant pot in the garden just until we've worked out because we literally have to like resurface the whole of our garden and that. So for now, 
they can just sit outside and they'll get watered and repotted. Um, so we actually bought a couple more bar garden bits. So Anthony has picked up a eight function spray gun set for the hose. I didn't look at this actually when he picked it up, <laughs> but he got very excited when he saw that. So that's, yep, yeah, his buy for nine pound. We did pick up a couple of these because we think these look really nice. Um, so we got a garden stuff, what are these? Hand fog and hand twirl, twirl? I think that's what you call it. Um, so yes, we needed some new ones of these and to be honest, we saw these and thought that they actually look aesthetically nice as well. So these were both £4.50 each um, that we obviously just needed for replanting a lot of our stuff. And again, probably cheaper than the garden centres. I did buy my first lot of seedlings. Um, so these are the Seeds Fuzz Box Glove Sutton Apricot, which is a gorgeous colour. I've been into my plants and flowers and things for a long time. I haven't ever done it from seed myself. So this is what I thought I would start with. I don't know if I've chosen something easy to do, but hopefully. And it says to sow it in April as well. So that gives me a few weeks to be able to like know what I'm actually doing um, and get some equipment and things as well. So the other thing was actually, bought two of these parts, so these just like this because I needed some three litre pots to do my um, Delilahs. I bought two Delilahs but they're in, wow, they're not seeds, they're in like a bud, um, but in a bag. And I know that I needed a three litre pot to put them in to start them off. So I just picked up two of these because they were only £2.50 each. And they're obviously going to be reusable for when I can use my move my Delilahs to something bigger and I can like replant into them. The last thing to show you is actually what I've kept everything in is a collapsible laundry basket. <laughs> like the most adult bag ever. Um, but this was £12 reduced to £10. And I wanted a collapsible one because, so we've got a laundry basket in our bedroom, but it's not one we like pick up and bring downstairs. So I needed one for downstairs in the utility room. So that collapsible one means that I can collapse it and hide it away when it's not in use. Um, but it's just easier to drag everything out of the washing machine and then into the dryer and whatnot. So yeah, for a tenner, I thought that was actually a bargain because I have been looking online for a collapsible one and you're looking at about 12 to 15 pounds. So it being on offer for a tenner, I thought, yeah, perfect. That is what we came for. That is what I'm going home with. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time for a brand new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.